Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin report for the 12th of April. We'll obviously look at Ethereum and I'll start with Ethereum um, and then we'll move on to Bitcoin. So um, we've got wave three here and we're looking for an A and a B and a C for wave four here and then one and two and three and four and five for wave one an A and a B and a C for wave two here. And then I can count five waves up here for wave one, back for wave two here. And then we're looking at one and two moving higher at that point. So let's go in and uh, take a look at that. I have recounted this here too. Um, so I've got two counts on this, but either way, it's still the same sort of result. Um, and we also note too that it hasn't really moved back to its 61.8% mark. And that's what large numbers tend to do. They tend to grab the market's attention. Uh, four hour to one hour. So from blue wave two here to blue, uh, blue wave one, sorry, to blue wave two, and then looking up for wave one here with an A and a B and a C for wave two here. So this is how I had counted it, but I've got a different count for that. Not that it makes a lot of difference, but... Um, um, and then looking at this as wave one in here and wave two to here for this, and then pushing up strongly for me. And also what I want to point out here too is that um, and I mentioned this last week, is that we've got blue wave two here. So we're in blue wave three, we're in green wave three now, we're in this number three here as well. So we're in the third of the third of the third. So um, we should see this push up quite strongly. And I mentioned that last week, and we have seen that little gap uh, come into play here because folks start to recognise um, that the market is moving in that direction. So I want to go from uh, the one hour into the tick chart here, just to break that down somewhat. So I'll just bring in some data here for this. Um, I will bring it back a little bit further just to show how I've counted this a little bit differently from here. So in this case, I've got one and two here. And then from this two, I've got three and four here. And I'm looking at this as one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave, fourth wave, then one and two here and three and four and five here. Not that it makes any difference. And I don't know which one is correct. I haven't had the time to go back and mull them both over. But I think it's just good to share different counts and that. So we've got positions in here, um, <coughs> as I mentioned on the weekend or before that, that uh, um, I don't know if I did actually, um, any, I'm not sure what I've mentioned, but buying new highs is something that's um, on my agenda all the time. So especially taking out the wave B here. So you may already be long in here. So, um, so I was looking at this here as wave one here with an A and a B and a C here for wave two. And that would leave us with five waves here for one and two. Nice strong third wave here, fourth wave here and fifth wave here with an A and a B and a C here for wave four. And then the gap up in wave five here for wave one. And then an A and a B and a C for wave two here. Now I may have this wrong here. So let me just point out that if I am wrong, then we'll look at this pulling back into this box here. So that's something that you may need to accommodate, okay? So it's possible that this could get all raggedy here and we'll see wave two push up into that space. I don't think it's the case, but um, it's possible. Um, But we can also go long now again these two highs here and the reason for that is because that would be above the 61.8% from these lows here. So the 61.8% is here so it's really above the 78.6 the square root of 61.8%. So if you wanted to enter there that's fine. Um, yeah. So just to recap, blue wave two, so the third wave of the third wave of the third wave here. So looking quite good in that regard. Just bringing that back to the four hour chart now. So we've got some perspective on this. <coughs> so we can look at, this is wave one in here, back for wave two here. That really needs to be confirmed a little bit, but uh, from wave four, wave one and two and one and two and one and two, and we should see that um, move to the upside uh, through here for that. 
So um, Bitcoin, much the same as well. So on the daily chart here for wave four, if we consider this wave one here, then an ABC for wave two. Now I've got different counts for all of this and it hasn't really taken out the top here like it has done for, um, for Ethereum. So we haven't really taken out that top there. There's a good case for triangle patterns and all those sorts of uh, patterns that we could also work with as well. I've looked at a few of them. I don't think it's a triangle pattern because this move here is in five waves here. I suppose it could be an A and a B and a C wave here and then an A, B, C for the D wave here and then an E wave here for that and then up. So not a lot of difference within all of that. Um, but the main takeaway here is that if this count is correct, we're in the third wave here and be the fourth and fifth. So we're still in that bullish market uh, as such. There's different ways to uh, count it. Of course, this is uh, my preferred count with inside of uh, with with Ethereum with wave four here with one and two and one and two here. There is variation and then one and two and three and four and five for the third wave, fourth wave here, just giving you a picture here. So wave three here. So between wave two and wave three, we'll be looking for five waves of one and two and three and four and five. And we'll also look for five waves in the third wave here as well. So. Uh, further to <clears throat> move up the 65 is a medium level so we'll certainly see a dance across that we do have tested support on 50 now and um, let's just go in a little bit further there are other counts too there's <clears throat> there's this count here as well to finish off at the top here we'll just keep I mean it's probably not the case but um, just just good to be mindful of it with wave four here an a wave a b wave and a c wave here in three waves ending here so there'll still be another three waves after that actually but it's not really the case um i picked up a couple of positions in here as you may know so i've got 38 positions with 100 14,000 US dollars here, uh, 3.8 Bitcoin now, and sitting around 290,000 odd dollars there. So 290, probably $300,000 actually now that it's popped up to here. So, um, yeah, that's where I am for that. Um, let me just come back into this here. Let's just drill in here a little bit further. So, from wave four here for that. Wave three and four, one and two, and one and two, and they're looking at one and two. <clears throat> so it's possible for this to pop down here somewhat before moving off into that space. Um, let's go into the one hour chart and check on that. So one hour chart, blue wave one and two here, <clears throat> green wave one and two, which we've worked through there, talked about getting some positions in there. Now, it did gap up through here. Now we do need to count this here as well. So we'll do that on the tick chart, just so we're on the same page. This does look impulsive here. So I'm thinking we got up for one here and back for two here in this. And we'll be heading up for wave three in that case there. I'll leave it at that for the time being. We'll go to the tick chart to look at this. The last time we spoke, we're in here somewhere. So 100 ticks, let's get some data in here. So green wave one, <clears throat> a nice A, B, C wave as we went through last week with all of that. <clears throat> and then we started counting to the upside. I'm not sure if I've re, no, I haven't really counted, redone anything here, but this fifth wave that we're looking for, so we had one and two here, and then we had three and four here. And then I was looking for five waves up here as one and two and three and four and five, but it just gapped up there. So I don't really know what's in that space there. Maybe I need to reorganize this as well. But if even if I had to reorganize it, I could only put wave four there. Okay, so um, wave one here, an A and a B and a C for wave two, and then up for one again and back for two again. Now, it hasn't pulled back down to its 50-60% retracement level, but it does appear that this move here is in three waves. If it was, if it was only in, sorry, it's in five waves. If it was, if it was in three waves, well, then I would be a little bit more um, reluctant, uh, sort of positive for this to pull back down into this space. 
into this space here for that. <coughs> and it still could, but even it's a bit tough there as well because this move here looks like it's an A and B and a C here, a bit dodgy, but um, there. This could be counted as bullish or corrective here because it's, it's still in the building process. So in this case, if you wanted a safe trade in here, well, not about safe, but because um, normally we'd take that high here, then that high, and then we could work this high here now for that if you're looking to get in. Because a move, if I took from that high to that low here, then this would be above the 61.8% at that point. So, so taking that out would be positive. Um, yeah, so the worst case scenario is, is we come back down to 5,700 roughly before we move up further. But hopefully we stick to that 60,000 like glue and then eventually it's not sitting on there as support yet, is it? But that's what you'd want to see. You'd want to see it eventually come back and sit, you know, check it, checking it there, you know, and then moving off from that point and then you can <clears throat> find ways to get in. But still a little bit early here. It still is resistance here. It's not support yet, visually speaking. It's a very subtle thing, but um, it's good for you to get your head around that, you know. So even in this case here, it would have, well, we could probably even bring it down to that one there, but this looks impulsive to the downside here, doesn't it? And that's corrective at that point, so we could probably bring that down to go along there as well. So it could still come down here further. It's not sitting... What I'm just trying to say is it's not sitting on the level here, is it? It's not sitting above it and sitting on it and tested it and, you know, the, the support there. It's not there yet. It's trying to, but it's not. So entering into something like that is a little bit um, dangerous. So you really need to understand the larger wave count that you're in when you're doing these things, okay? So anyway, that's my two bit for today. Um, anyway, that's the wave count as I, um, as I see it. So just coming back here and just to recap this somewhat on the hourly chart probably best so um whichever way i see that orange wave for it doesn't really matter we've still got an impulse wave here we've got a corrective wave here and we've taken taken out the high here now so that's good so we should just we should just work higher that's how i see it um, and I wouldn't worry about anything unless we breach the 61.8% mark down here. So this through here, that's at that point there, then you can get concerned about um, if that became the resistance, then you could get concerned about something, you know, if that came down through here and, and went under here and it you could see it locking under here and then made a new low here then 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 there would, then 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 it would be another story that we would have to look at but as it stands that's it and just coming back to the daily chart here sorry about that this one this is how we're viewing it how i'm viewing it so yeah just trying to get through those old highs there oh actually there's another point that i wanted to make as well is that even though we're counting it in into a bullish count uh, here with one, two, three, four, five moving up here, we also need to understand that. Um, let's go to the monthly. I just want to check on the volume here for this. Oh no, that's okay. We've got the increased volume there. I thought it was um, diminishing. I better check another platform on that. Just hang on a second. Yeah, that's where I've seen it. <clears throat> so this is a monthly chart here. It's different from that other chart that I was using. So it just goes to show a lot, but we can see here what I wanted to point out. Uh, this is where we've got to check with the data. This is just trading view here. Um, but this market's pushing up here, but we're getting lower volume each month here. So we're just in the beginning of this month of April, of course. But these last two months here, we've seen the market move up, but on lower volume. So that's um, divergence in that uh, in that instance. So 
so we just need to be a bit careful about that. We'll just keep an eye on it. We need to find some better data, I think. I mean, we've obviously got two two platforms with different you know, there's a monthly chart here as well, so they're, they're different. So I don't know where where they get their data from, um, but it's something's not quite right with that. So I'd leave it with me. I'll check on that. But alrighty, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.